Monday morning shout out here to the Saints. We had a great service yesterday. Pastor Bobby did a great job bringing the Word of God to us. And uh, But I, I had another thought I wanted to share with you this morning. Uh, and I meant to share this yesterday and didn't get it done in the service, but I, I want to share with you that there is no pandemic. There never has been a pandemic, and I'm, I'm going to lay it out for you by the CDC's own statement. Uh, you know, in the very beginning, in March, when this started, they, they said, don't wear masks because they don't do any good. And then about two or three weeks later, they started saying wear masks because they figured out if they could declare everybody to wear a mask, it would create fear and panic among the people. And so for the last six months, we've been wearing masks and worried about all this declaring ourselves to be in a pandemic. And, and I want to tell you, there is no pandemic. Saturday a week ago, the CDC came out with a statement that said, 94% uh, of the deaths that they have been counting as COVID deaths were not COVID deaths. Uh, the markers that they used to test people were up to 40 different markers. Well, you know, honestly, almost everybody has a, some coronavirus in us. You can have a head cold and test positive for coronavirus. So what they were doing is testing everybody that would be tested and, and all the deaths got tested. Well, almost everybody has at least some marker of coronavirus already in our bodies. And so they counted all those as COVID deaths. So now they're telling us, you know, 180,000 people have died because of COVID. But if you'll remember when they first started, they said over 2 million Americans were going to die and over 750,000 Texans were going to die of COVID and that's why they declared it a pandemic. But, but now with the new figures that the CDC just released, 94% of all the deaths that have been counted as COVID are not COVID deaths. Only 6% of that number of that 180,000 has actually been caused by the COVID, the coronavirus uh, cell. And so that means only nine, across the whole United States, only 9,210 people have died because of COVID. Now, <clears throat> since then, they have also, uh, the Washington Post, which is a very liberal newspaper, posted an article that said that 90% of the people that have tested positive for the coronavirus really aren't positive. And they use the same statistics I just gave you. Uh, if you're checking for 40 markers for a coronavirus, a lot of those people are going to have one of those markers. And so they label them as positive for coronavirus, but they're no more positive for coronavirus than a man in the moon. Uh, they're not contagious. They're not going to give it to anybody and nothing's going to happen to them, which is why 80% of the people that, set, that have tested positive for coronavirus are asymptomatic. They're not sick. They're not going to get sick. And so there's several things that I want us to learn through this experience. Number one, we as believers need discernment. And, and, and privately and publicly, I've been saying this all along, we need discernment. Uh, masks are not helpful. They, you, can get any, you can get several dozen coronaviruses in a single spore of a mask. Masks are useless against the coronavirus. Uh, the, the shutdown was, uh, was useless. Uh, and, and to me, this, this whole thing has been about three things. Number one, it's been about money. Uh, there's a race right now to see who can be the first one to get a coronavirus vaccine. And the government's going to fund that. That's a lot of money. And so it, it, it's about money. Uh, secondly, not only is it about money, but it's about control. How much can we get the people to blindly obey? And, you know, as believers, we need to have discernment. We're not anti-government, but we're not blind sheep either. We, the Spirit of God lives inside of us, and we should have discernment to be able to tell when people are telling us the truth and when they're feeding us a line. And with the media that we've got nowadays in our country, we can't trust anything the media says because everything they say is, is, has an agenda behind it. And, of course, part of their agenda, not only is, it, is, is this about money, but it's also about keeping Donald Trump out of the White House for four more years. He is exposing the deep state. They don't like it. And they don't want him to be president for the next four years. 
So I'm telling you, this whole thing is a spiritual battle. Good versus evil. And, uh, you know, as for me and my house, and I want to encourage everybody, let's get back to normal living. Uh, I'm not saying coronavirus isn't real. It is real. 9,210 people have died because of the coronavirus, but that does not reach pandemic levels. Your, your percent of survival right now with these new numbers is over 99.999%, which means you have less than 0.01 chance of dying from coronavirus. That is less than one one hundredth of a percent. And so I'm telling you, there's nothing to fear. Let's get back to church. Let's get back to normal living. And, and let's lead the world with the discernment that God has given us as believers. Let's lead, lead the world with our faith, telling, God, telling the people what we believe, who we believe, why we believe it. And let's get back to living. I'll have more to say in the next coming weeks about different things. Uh, Yom Kippur is on the 27th. That's a national day of repentance uh, for the nation of Israel. And I think it would be a wonderful idea for America to repent between now and then. We've got an open window between now and September the 28th. <clears throat> the heavens are open. And, 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 and let's fast, pray, and repent for our nation that God would save us, restore us, and give us a third great awakening that would change our culture. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a great week. Hope to see you Wednesday night. And then I hope to see you again this coming Sunday, September the 13th. God bless.